Welcome sa sip9.com. Sa previous video, pinag-aralan natin yung uh, x and y intercepts. No? And uh, dito sa video na to magkakaroon tayo ng uh, uh, ilang examples kung paano ba kunin yung x and y intercepts. Uh, sabi natin na uh, yung uh, x-intercept is of the form x0, no? And uh, yung y-intercept natin, sorry, x-intercept. And this is our y-intercept. It's of the form 0, y. Now, um, since of the form x, 0 yung ating x-intercept, ibig sabihin, we have to equate, uh, we have to set y to 0 and then find the value of x. No? And since 0, y, ang form ng ating y-intercept, we have to set x to 0 and then solve for y. Okay? Uh, I think this is uh, familiar to you dahil uh, nakuha nyo na ito nung uh, junior high school tsaka ng senior high school. And if you're in senior high school now, I think uh, you're also familiar with this. So, ang gagawin natin, this is just uh, parang review tsaka formalization. Finoformalize natin yung mga napag-aralan nyo previously. No? So, let's have the first example. So, to get the x-intercept, we set y to 0. No? So, gagawin natin 0 yung y natin. So, 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Pinaliktad ko lang, no? nilagay ko yung uh, y sa kanan. So, 2x minus 4 equals y. And then, we set y to 0. And then, solve for x. No? 2x equals 4. x equals 2. So, yung x-intercept natin ay, ano yung form niya? x0, di ba? So, ang x natin ay 2. So, ang ating x-intercept ay 2, 0. Next, for the y-intercept, we have, uh, nung magagawin natin, set x to 0. And then, solve for y. So, y equals 2x minus 4. y equals, set x to 0, magiging 2 times 0 minus 4, which is equal to negative 4. Meaning, yung y-intercept natin our y-intercept is uh, 0, negative 4. Well, maliban sa pag-solve nito, of course, it's very easy. It's easier to do kung may graphing calculator kayo may graphing software kayo. Just, just graph this, no? And Tignan nyo kung saan siya nag-intersect yung x-axis tsaka yung graph. At the same time, yung y-axis tsaka yung graph. Yun yung ating x-intercept tsaka y-intercept. So, pag may graphing uh, software tayo, let's have the graphing software. Hintayin lang natin ang konti, nag-open lang siya. So, kung halimbawa, gusto nyo lang malaman yung, yung intercept ng... ng isang function, yung x and y intercept, hindi naman pinapasolve sa inyo. Yung, hindi naman pinapasolve, hindi naman hinihingi yung solution. Just graph y equals 2x minus 4. No? So, y equals 2x. So, you'll see that the intersection or the x intercept niya ay 2, 0. This is 2, 0, and 0, negative 4, which is the same. Dito, no? 2, 0. This is 2, 0. And this is 0, negative 4. 0, negative 4. Okay. So, yan yung concept bakit siya in-equate natin sa uh, 0 and sinusolve natin for the value of y. For the second example, we have... We have uh, y equals x squared. plus 4x, plus 3. Now, this is a quadratic function, no? So, ibig sabihin, dalawa, it's either dalawa or isa or walang uh, intercept ito, no? Tignan natin. So, we have, first, we have to set uh, y to 0 to get the x-intercept. Balik tarin natin. x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals y. Then, we set y to 0. x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Tanggalin na natin ito. No? Para tipid tayo sa space. 
Then, anong ginagawa natin? Quadratic equation na yan, di ba? Pag ganyan, anong ginagawa natin? It's either you factor or you uh, factor or you uh, use the quadratic formula. No? But here, I think this is factorable. This is x plus 3. x plus 1 equals 0. No? So, kailan siya magiging 0? Pag 0 ito times any number here will uh, equal to 0. So, Kailan magiging 0 to? x plus 3 equals 0. x equals negative 3. Pwede rin na ito yung 0, di ba? At uh, pag 0 to multiplied by this number, mag-equal siya sa 0. Kailan magiging 0 to? x plus 1 equals 0. x equals negative 1. So, dalawa yung kanyang x-intercepts, no? We have negative 3, 0. And negative 1, 0. And then for the y-intercept, for the y-intercept, ang x naman ang gagawin nating um, 0. No? So we have uh, y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. Then we have y equals 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 3. We set x to 0, di ba? So mangyari, y equals 3. So, ang y-intercept natin ay 0, 3. Okay, so kung gagraph natin yan, buray natin itong uh, unang graph natin. Alin ang x-intercepts natin? Negative 3, 0, tsaka negative 1, 0. So, lagay na natin yung points. Negative 3, 0, tsaka negative 1, 0. Yan yung x-intercepts natin. Tapos, Ang y-intercept natin ay 0, 3. 0, 3. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, nadaan dyan yung ating graph, no? So, pwede natin i-graph x squared plus 4x plus 3. So, y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay? So, nakita nyo, dumaan siya dun sa tatlong intercepts natin. Next, we have our last example. This is a polynomial function, no? Uh, okay, so we set for, for uh, to get the x-intercept, we set y to 0. It's x cubed minus 6x squared uh, plus 5x is equal to y, no? And then we have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x. We set y to 0. Pwede natin i-factor, no? Ang common niya is x. Now, uh, kung mahina kayo sa factoring, pwede nyo tignan yung ating uh, tutorials on uh, factoring, no? We have uh, x squared minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. And then we can also factor this. x minus 1 tsaka x minus 5 equal to 0. Now, um, ano mangyayari pala dyan? Tatlo yung factors dyan, no? So, kailan magiging 0? If any of them, kahit saan dito yung may 0, pwede maging 0 yung buong, buong number because this is multiplication. If this is 0, this will become 0. This will become equal to 0. If this is 0, this will also be 0. And if this is 0, this will also be equal to 0. So, equate natin yan lahat. Paano, paano to magiging 0? This is x equals 0. Paano to magiging 0? x minus 1 equals 0 x equals 1. So, pag x equals 1, 1 minus 1, 0. And yung negative, ah, yung x minus 5, we have x minus 5 equals 0, we have x equals 5. So, 5 minus 5 equals 0 times any number here. This will become 0. So, tatlo yung ating uh, x intercepts. We have uh, 0, 0. And so, dumadaan siya sa origin. We have the x intercepts. We have 0, 0, we have 1, 0, 
and we have 5, 0. At yung y-intercept natin, we set x to 0, di ba? O, pag 0 yan, I think we, also, we already have the y-intercept here. So, ang y-intercept natin is y equals x squared oh sorry, x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x. If you set y to 0, then we have y equals 0 cubed plus 6 0 squared 6 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0. So, y equals 0. So, ang ating y-intercept ay 0, 0. Same siya dito, no? yung x-intercept sa y-intercept also. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong x-intercept sa isang y-intercept. And it happened that yung x-intercept natin dito na 0, 0 is also the y-intercept. So we can graph y equals, pwede na natin tuburahin. We have... Uh, x cubed minus 6x squared minus 6x squared plus 5x. Okay? So, yan yung ating graph. So, here we have uh, 0, 0, we have 1, 0, and we have 5, 0, no? Tama ba? 0, 0, 1, 0, and 5, 0. Okay, so I think we, yeah, we got it correct. Tingnan na natin yung, yan, pupinalit mo yung graph. Yan yung itsura niya. Okay, so I hope na ka natutunan sa video na to. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.